Well, hello there, ye faithful few, and welcome back to DMS Adventures, where the intros are tough and rarely up to snuff. Well, the quest for the perfect chest bag has been an adventure in and of itself. We started off with the Winex Recon bag, and it was just a little bit too cheaply made, and it was a bit too small, and the gear just kind of sat in it, made the bag just lumpy and generally uncomfortable. So I moved on to the Helicon Tex bag. Now this one was much better made. It was really comfortable to wear, but it just turned out to be a bit too small. So. I sent that one back and got to researching again and think I finally found something that is going to work awesome. Now I introduced it to you briefly in our previous video and so here it is. The Umqua Overlook 500 ZS chest pack. So this is primarily designed for fly fishermen as they're out in the middle of the creek and whatnot. They got all their tackle and the gear that they need right here easily accessible on their chest. Now I found that this also will work pretty good for individuals that like to take photographs, do some videography while out on the trail. So some of the features and benefits for the fishermen will also apply to the, the backpacker or the hiker and I'm going to show those to you. But first, just a quick overview, this is uh, made out of a 420D nylon uh, with ballistic cordura and some of the more high wear points. Uh, it is a full four point harness. You can see on the back here, it's got a nice large mesh area to just help distribute that weight. It's got tons of room inside. This is the 500 and the name stands for cubic inches. That's approximately eight liters of room in here. And so here's what I'm typically going to have in this thing. So check this out. So uh, phone case, because it won't work in the gimbal. Got the Ceramonic Blink transmitter. Got the cord and dead kitten. There's a zippered pouch in here. Got uh, an additional cable to connect the Rode Video Micro to the phone, uh, the TRRS cable. And all that is in the uh, secondary, whoops, forgot something. Also the Ceremonic USB-C receiver. So got all that in the front here. Here in the main compartment, we've got 12 inch, uh, this is a new tripod I'm gonna be trying to use. Got the Rode Video Micro with the dead cat and a extension arm. Got the DJI Osmo with the phone already on it. Then we got the Ulanzi, uh, just a little extra light for doing shots in the dark and such. And then got a, uh, an anchor 13,000 milliamp hour battery set up in here with uh, two output ports. Yeah. And then there's also, we got our uh, Gerber dime here on a lanyard. And I'll show you that more closely here later as well. So as you can see, I can fit tons of stuff in here and it fits nicely. Uh, it rides well on my shoulders and it performed just great on the last hike that we did. So let me give you a closer look at the inside of the bag. Alrighty, so here we go on a closer look of the Umqua Overlook 500 chest rig. So we'll take a look. This is the front pocket first. So if we take a look in here, You've got 
mesh pocket there got mesh pocket here got a clip for keys or whatever you may need here is the zippered pouch that I mentioned right there that is mesh as well then there's one other pocket right there so pretty good room in there and that is just the uh, the front pocket now there are also two stretch pockets right here again can fit some good stuff in there I just I put snacks in there when we went on our our last adventure now this I'm not a fisherman first and foremost this is I believe a, a lure pad or something to that effect don't quote me um, but this is removable you can put that aside and you got a piece of velcro here if you needed to um, have anything else stuck right up there to the top of your pack I was thinking maybe if I could get a flashlight um, or a headlamp stuck there or something that would be really convenient for me um, there's several loops all over the place here you got four there we've got three on this side on the bottom three on this side you can put lots of things uh, attach some things to there let's take a look at the main compartment these are YKK zippers So here's the main area, which you can see is, in my view, cavernous. Just tons of room inside there. There's uh, only actually one additional pocket, and that's right here. You can see I have my anchor 13,000 milliamp battery stuffed in here. And let me just show you what I think is, is one of the cool parts. Um, or one of the cool things that's in this design that can apply to vloggers and uh, photographers and such, especially with the amount of gear that needs to be charged or runs on batteries. So they have what are called these pass-through ports. There's one on each side. And on this side, if you come to the inside, I've got a retractable lanyard and it attaches right here and then it passes through here in this covered port and so if I'm walking along I need to cut something or anything like that I can pull that out do my thing with it and just have it come right back up in there then on this side and I'll show you this a little better in a minute um, this side I have those two uh, USB cables that are stuck that are plugged into the um, into the battery they come out here and you can just pull these out and plug things in while on the go and I'll show you why mine are on this side here in a little bit now you're gonna have to, you do have to stuff these kind of back in there when you're done using. It's actually more awkward to do <laughs> holding it like this uh, than it is when it's actually on. Actually, I think you just come in here and you can just pull them right back up. So that is a pretty slick feature in my opinion. Now there are two other ports. There's one right here, one on the other side as well. Now these, I haven't found a uh, backpacking, vlogging, photography use for. Um, they are for holding snips. I guess there's like these scissors that go up in there and they can clip on to a little thing up there and they just hang out of there. Um, I haven't found a use for it. If anyone has any ideas, let me know. So now let's check out the straps on the, uh, the shoulder straps. So you got a little hook here for hanging. Then there's some loops here and here at the top of the bag on both sides. 
And now here's another pretty cool feature. So this back has an additional pocket in it for, you could stick perhaps a rain jacket in there, small amount of lunch in there. Um, again, that's designed for the fly fishermen out in the middle of the creek. Um, now here's the thing, this was not uh, uncomfortable with my backpack on, I didn't even notice it. Um, but if, if we were to do like a quick hike or something uh, and want to leave my backpack behind, I could actually just um, put some stuff in here for a quick, quick hike. So I really like that feature. And then I probably will end, not, end up not using this, but it is an interesting feature for maybe somebody out there. These come off relatively easily and you can adjust at any one of these points. The other side comes off as well. You can see right there, slide right off. And then Umqua also has a small day pack that adds nine additional liters um, to your back. And it also has a 33 liter backpack uh, called the Surveyor that you can add to this as well. So this is just a very versatile system. And uh, well, so versatile in fact that it not only works for fly fishing, but it's uh, gonna work for me in the vlogging while out on the trail. So that is pretty much it. I got just a few more things to show you. We're gonna head um, back up to the other location for that. Alrighty, so I just kind of wanted to show you how this works out on the trail. So I've got my Teton Sports uh, Explorer 4000 on my back and got the Uncle Overlook chest rig on. So off here doing vlogging, doing shots and whatnot. So, oh man, battery's almost dead on the gimbal. Uh, so here's how that process would go. Just shut down the gimbal would fold this down into position and then I've got this little clip right here uh, on this Ulanzi tripod it it has a quarter inch jack right here um, that I was able to put this little clip on and if you remember got the peak design knockoff gate latch uh, system going on here so we'll just hook the tripod on and now it is I got hands free I haven't gone out with this tripod yet probably want to get those legs out of my face but here's the slick part so I got those cords that are hooked into that anchor battery on the inside we just pull this out the charger is right here plug it right in and just keep hiking that gets charged I could also one drawback of the blink system is it um, it blocks your charging so you can just take that off open up the pack slide that in and grab the other cable and get the phone a charging too I can head off and just keep on hiking while all this charges up again for me to keep doing more interesting fantastic content for you faithful few so hey that's all i wanted to show you today i love this chest pack um, it's going to work awesome for me hopefully there's somebody out there that also found this useful um, if they do a lot of vlogging or photography this sucker can hold quite a bit of stuff even some of your larger lenses i would imagine um, so give it a look and thank you all so much for joining me today and you all have a great day